Stuart, well, it didn't quite go your way in that last frame against Judd, but you threw to the final group and that's what matters. Yeah, that's all I come here to do. Um, as you say, I've, I've got an outside chance to still qualify in the top 16 for the world. So that was my goal to get through this group. And now I've got an easy task of winning the final group. So, uh, yeah, played play pretty well today. Bit of a slow start, but um, yeah, felt felt good out there. Felt really relaxed. Yeah, I mean, you, as you said, you, you lost one of your games earlier on against Ryan, and then you had a really strong run of wins to put yourself in that position going into the last game. Yeah, I, I knew, as I say, we uh, one frame would have put me through um, when I Nick got a snooker and, and won that frame to go one on with Judd. Uh, we both went to and I'll, I'll see, see the result as, as 2 0 to Mark Selby. So, yeah, let's say. Um, obviously, in in tomorrow, and I've I've still got a half a chance of getting in top sixteen, which obviously we'll want to we'll want to be for obviously the crucible. How do you approach the final group tomorrow? Because it's a bit of a strange atmosphere here in a way, isn't it? It's a it's the final day of a ranking event, but it's not actually a final. It's a round robin. There's no TV cameras, no crowds, but somebody's going to be going home with that trophy. Yeah, um, it, it's nice to be in that final sort of thing. So uh, obviously. It was a tough group today, so uh, it's going to be even tougher tomorrow. Um, just got to, I think, just find that, try and be relaxed uh, and try and obviously get them wins early on and put yourself in the, in the frame, hopefully, at the end of the day. We started off this event with all 128 players on the tour, but you look at the final group now and there's big names in it, pretty much. Does that show that whatever the format is, the best players rise to the top? Yeah, um, obviously a, a few players weren't happy with the best of threes at the start, obviously. But um, yeah, you obviously you say you got Judd, you got Jack, uh, obviously myself, obviously some uh, obviously good young players coming through. Sam Craigie, obviously Goudon, um, Kyron and, and Jack as well. Right, so yeah, Mark Williams. Mark Williams, yeah, obviously an old dog there. So <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just going to be obviously a good day. Um, looking forward to it already. And you mentioned that subplot going on. If you win the tournament you will go level with Anthony McGill on points and of course you'll go ahead of him on count back, grab that 16th spot for the Crucible. How much would that mean to you? Yeah, I mean everything. Um, maybe probably one of the few that um, was a bit worse off with the China events not being on. Got, obviously can't defend them, but uh, we've had all season to try and make it up. But uh, it, It's been tough. I've been playing pretty well, but just getting beat sort of the odd occasion and where I've been playing pretty well sort of thing. So... Um, yeah, tomorrow's another day. Uh, I could go out there and, and lose every game, but uh, hopefully I can play like I did today. I've got half a shout. And you've been at the Crucible every year since 2011, so I'm sure you'd be gutted to miss out. But if it doesn't go your way tomorrow, you'll head to the qualifiers and do your best to make it through. Yeah, I've, I've already sort of put myself that I'm in the qualifiers, so obviously if I win tomorrow, it'd, it'd be a bonus. But uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be tough. Obviously, I ain't experienced it. Qualifiers say since 2010, so uh, it's gonna, yeah, two, two obviously hard games a best of 11 and a best of 19. So, uh, yeah, say what will happen, it will be, will be, as, as I always say.